Get your newt out for the lads. <laughs> Honestly, newt's the one I've got on all my accounts. The only one who I haven't really given him too much love on is Tamin. And I've been told, because I lost a bet, I've been told I've got to put a Zeta on him. So he's definitely one I like. Yeah, here he is. Where? Oh, hang on. Where is he? Sacre Blurry isn't in my favourites. There we go. Woo! <laughs> Alright. So, I did put me defence down. Let's see what's been done, because we're on the... We're at the end of the timer. Oh, well, it says we're on the end of the timer. We're also three minutes past the hour, so... There was a lie there. <laughs> We're up against Fathom Lock. I did show it on stream, but I'm going to repeat it for the YouTube video I make. Uh, we got Darth Revan in Arena. And we got a, a, a Relic 6 Geonosian Brood Alpha, Relic 7 Sith Empire Trooper, um, JKR on, as well. But the one thing I would say is it feels like he's focused a lot on Sith Empire and not a lot else. So I'm going to move the camera a second. If we see, we've got... Uh, not a lot of gear on some of these tunes. I mean, we got a Gear 11 Jolie, which for me is sacrilege. You've got JKR Get Jolie up as well. Uh, I understand why you go for Bosk. You know, he's a great bounty hunter. No Zeta on Grandmaster Yoda. That's another sacrilege. One I am guilty of on Temin. I feel like someone one day will punish me for a wager that I go on in on that uh, I have to Zeta Yoda. I am almost at the point of refusing to Zeta him. Um, but yeah. He's got an interesting roster. It, it feels like he's not zated a lot. I don't know if he's going for a Galactic Legend or something, but there's not a lot of zetas out there, so I, I, that'd be advice to him. Just do some more zetas. Uh, Liam, yeah, I'll start working on them. I'm waiting until this GA started. I didn't want to uh, fluff my GP before I locked in for the season. Okay, I get that. I mean, I'll... I wasn't doing it deliberately, but I did go under the division level for uh, Temin. So I was just narrowly under for this one. I'm over now. But um, I get it. You know, you want the easier draws. I'd, I'm, I don't know. It didn't really bother me because I thought I'm going to get a tough draw which div whichever division Temin's in. So, yeah. Let's have a look at what Crimson's got. Ooh, we're, we've got someone attacking at the same time and they've not attacked me. Padme! Okay, let's try and make some fun of this then. Okay. Under pressure. Okay, we've got Old Republic on defense with Vader. So someone's relying on some uh, dots being put out there. Um, okay, we've got Cody chilling with the Phoenix squad. That's new. <laughs> um, all right. Bounty Hunters and Night Sisters. I'm actually quite curious how this guy gets on. Um, is he attacking anything? Yeah, he's taking on me Palpatine team. He should get through that, then Phoenix will be an easy walkover, so... Let's focus on this for a minute. So, for my offense, same as last time, but for anyone who wasn't here last time. Got four JKR tunes. Kenobi's with uh, Padme. Well, was with Padme. Got some Geonosians who I put with Newt. We've got Old Republic. We've got Imperial Troopers. We've got Treyer, but it's a very weak Treyer. Um, and after that, we're relying on very scrappy rebels. So, right now I'm after some cheap counters. And what I'm thinking is maybe I can just send a little message to that Amir and take out this Phoenix. It wouldn't be easy because of the counter-attacks from Kane and Butt. Shall we go for this? <laughs> Gonna say, let, let's do this. Do, 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 do. New pole. Oh. Let's go. Alright, I've put the pole out. I'm going to get a drink, only a soft drink, so it's literally out of the room and back, and I'll see what people have said.
Right, how's it getting on? Got three votes for yes. All right. Just before we go in, let's see, did he knock down that team? Yeah, easy. Has he gone in for Phoenix? Yeah. All right. Let's try and send a message then. And please, computer, don't crash. This would be the worst time to do it, so I'm asking nicely. <laughs> Got to go now. When you're streaming next, it will be Wednesday next, Danth. Thanks for stopping by, though. I always appreciate it when people can pop by and say hi and chat for a bit. Okay, let's get Chopper out of here. Counter attacks. Uh, pop a taunt. Get some bonus protection. Can we get a big hit? Yes, we can. Okay, on to Kanan. Uh, do a basic. And another. Ooh, that was good damage from Veers. Okay, and one more. And we're out of there. AoE time. Hera's up. Come on, out you go, Hera. One more. One more. 60 banners. Okay, what are we doing next? Uh, Lucas, for beginner player, is it better to buy gear for ally codes or... Buy gear for ally codes? I'm curious what you mean there. Are you talking about like the store where you can, like the bronzium currency is? Okay, I think I know what you're talking about. You're talking about these, aren't you? Um, you're talking about them, aren't you? I think. The ally points. Um, personally, it's dependent. Um, most of the time, I save them just for the fact that it's easier to just do mass unlocking and like. A couple of weeks ago, I had a auto clicker on, and I just set it to auto click for about 100k of them. But um, every now and again, there might be a good deal. Like I remember a while ago, there was um, Karatek in there, and I thought, even though maybe it isn't great value, I think I'd rather the Karatek than maybe whatever shards they were going to give me. So it's a little dependent, you know. I would save, and then if you see something, you've got it. But equally, if you save for a long enough, you can get rid of a lot and get some shards back. So, uh, yeah. It's definitely a case of take it case by case. Oh, good boy, Darth Raven. Good boy. <laughs> okay. We've got hold. Woohoo. Okay. Right. Where next? I'll admit that got me a little giddy. I'm like, come on, I've had a good old on defense. All right. Someone's actually attacked me. That's the good thing as well. It's like, yes. Okay. I'm thinking Palpatine on Karth. I'm thinking Bastler and Jolie against Bosk. Maybe Bastler, Jolie and Hoda. And maybe the Newt Geos against this Daka team. So I'm going to actually get rid of Palpatine, uh, use Palpatine here first. Oh, I've just remembered Palpatine was defense. All right, that blows a bit. That blows a bit. So I need to work this bottom out. Oh, it's a shame, I had, that, that was a fun idea, that. Um, so yeah, let's get these bounty hunters out of the way. Let's just check the speeds before I go in too crazy. Zeta's the lead, so that's good. I can get rid of taunts. Not crazy speed either, so I feel quite comfortable going in with what I suggested here. So let's go Bastler, Jolie, and Hoda. Oh, 
Come on. <clears throat> Let's get a stun if we can. Nice one. Okay. Let's try and stop uh, Boba being a pain. Nice one. Let's give that to Bastler. Yeah, they're going to go a bit crazy, but we should be able to cope. Right. Let's give that to Jolie. Hmm, okay. This is a tricky bit. we just got to whittle him down a bit. Get, just slam that on him again. <laughs> Have that. <clears throat> Weakest uh, target is Hoda, so the longer he could stay in stealth, the better, but... Yeah, he's a bit exposed now. Yeah, oh, Greedo, bye-bye. <laughs> I don't particularly want to revive um, Hoda because he's just going to give them the uh, contract a little bit quicker. But I could do it doing it so Joe Leak stays a bit tanky. Um, revive. Give that to Hoda. Oh, okay. Bye bye, Hoda again. <laughs> okay. This isn't going well. It does work, but it is very, very slow at times. Oh, okay. Come on. I really have to hammer Owen on Bosk. Just get him down quick. Okay, come on. Another stun. There isn't high potency, uh, high tenacity on this Bosk. Okay, come on. Let's do a revive. Just try and get Hoda in the game. Ability block anyway. Right, come on. Bonus protection. That might just help Hoda a little bit. Nope. Out again. You know what? I'm auto in it. I think. Let's just see if the two of them can actually cope with Bosk a bit better than I can. Because I'm trying to get rid of the taunting tank anyway. I find it amusing how to keep going for Oda in the sense of you'd have thought they'd be trying to go for the tanky ones instead of the little dude. <laughs> they must be aware of Grandmaster's training or something. Let's go for Boba. I'm, I know this is this is just not working, so I'm trying to shift things around. Okay, Hoda's gone for good now. Might time out here. Not good. If that's the case, I've given him a cheap win. Yeah. Not happy. Here. Poor fitting. It just wasn't going anywhere. I wasn't preloading him. Damn. He made another attack. Yeah, he got rid of my bounty hunters. He's taking a second shot at Darth Raven. Okay. Let's send these in. And I'm just hoping he hasn't put Geos at the back. Lucas, hey, just got 50 shards of fives from me. So I guess those 25k ally points were worth it. It is definitely worth trying to go down that route. It's, it's very dependent on what you're after, like I say. Sometimes you might be after a character and you're like, oh, go on, I'll just try the shards. Other times it's like, well, is it worth it? Let's give that to Yoda. Do an AoE. Mm. Let's try and get rid of Greedo. Mm, one turn too early. Yeah, I feel like they're picking on Plow a bit here. <laughs> um, let's do that. Let's put some Foresight up. Uh, get rid of that off Greedo. Get a big hit on him. Nice one. Okay. Let's wipe out Cad. 
You got 25 shards of Ewok Elder as well. I think that's how most people get Elder nowadays. It's like, oh yeah, I got him from the Bronziums. I can't imagine there are many who um, got him another way. I think when I was getting C-3PO on Termin, I did get a few shards in his node, but that's about it. Okay, could have been cleaner. Not particularly happy I took two battles there. That was underestimating it a little. Yeah, I think he's done here. I need to see what's back here, though. Hmm. Okay, another poll. I want people's opinions. I've just seen a comment. Just be two seconds replying to it. Um, we've got Old Republic and we have got uh, Newt Geos. Which one are we going to be using versus these Night Sisters? So let's just pop these into here. There we go. Start the poll. Uh, comment. The one scar. Hello there. Just for anyone who missed it, the Night Sisters were dealing. There's no Zetas, uh, no Zombie, so there is a chance I can only squad it, actually, now I'm thinking about it. So if you didn't think either of them, tell me what you think I could probably under-squad it with, because uh, I've got a very small tray area, and I've got that. Well, really, that's about it. That's the only thing I could really suggest. No more attacks up here. Nah, he's stuck at two. Okay, so I did block my fleet, which was the priority. Okay, Paul Landy with no votes. Mm. Okay. I'm thinking then, if there's no Zeta on this... I can afford to try something. I'll try my new Geos. I think they might be... Sorry, not new Geos, the Old Republic. I'm going to try the Geos up top, so... Old Republic should be able to race through this. Oh, okay. We had a late one there. I say Newton and Geos will be a safer bet. Okay, we'll see if you're right, okay? Let's go AoE. Um, and another. Try and get some dots out there. She's going to be a pain, so let's blind her. Mm. There's no revive, so let's just go in on Daka. It's amazing how flimsy Karth is at gear 11. The others can hold the weight, but he really dies fast at gear 11. Yeah, come on, we got to whittle down Daka. Okay, come on. Another hit. Come on. There we go. Come on, one more. Bye-bye, Daka. Okay, let's wipe out Tiles and get rid of that plague. <coughs> Another big AoE. Um, do an AoE, why not? Basic. Let's get rid of spirit. Come on. Nice. Come on. A few more. Could get max banners here. There we go. Max banners. Okay. Um, like I said, it's no Zeta, so it's hard to say. I'm so used to kneeling max teams. Yeah, I've got to admit, I wasn't... <laughs> When I put the vote out, I wasn't sure myself. I thought I, I actually saw Night Sisters like yourself. I didn't actually see the Nose Eater, and then you see it, and you're like, "Hmm, okay, that was safer though." And that's why I was worried. <laughs> I knew that he had the Geos. I just knew it. Okay. <laughs> okay, this is horrid now because. This is my best bet, and it is not a good bet. <laughs> this is not going to work. <laughs> the only thing I can hope for is that the 
the five of them survive long enough to get brewed out. And that is a long shot, Gear 13. All I know is, Minute Geos can't beat a Geos team. So I've got to try this. And if I can't do it, I'll just take the top wall down. Alright though, this. Okay, Scion's gone, bye bye. Sif Trooper's gone, bye bye. Let's just reduce the cooldowns. <laughs> Um, <laughs> isolate. <laughs> okay, that that did something. Trouble is, brutes go and spawn straight in. So even though they're down in the red, that ain't good. So um, let's take this down. Not good that. <laughs> I I hate geos. I hate them. That that could cost me the win here. But let's just be honest. Um, let's go for Karth. Let's get some debuffs on the field, and do a big hit on Karth. Let's try and get mission out now. Yeah, let's blind her. Okay, not good being stuck behind that. Let's go all in on Zalbar. Can we get a big hit on? Well, not a big hit, but a hit. Mm, pop a taunt, some fact. Ooh, seven, eight dots. Wow. Yeah, go on, uh, spread some extortion, uh, Newt. I'm going to refresh my Twitch page. I don't know if people are quiet or if I'm just not getting messages. It'll be the first time today it's happened. Right, mission, bye-bye. Uh, can we get an ability block on Candorous? Ooh, okay. Nice done there, Newt. Candrus is out there. Let's get a double tap on Big Z. I sort of know what he was going for with this. He wanted um, Vader to add to the dots and the health recovery, but yeah, I don't think it's worth taking him away from an Empire team. Okay, let's give that to Spy. Do a hit there, and one hit here. Not the tidiest of wins, but we're going to see ships. And I'm winning on banners, so I will take that. <laughs> okay, let's clear his ships. Let's go Tarkin, we go Aina, we go Sunfax, Soldier, Vulture, Spy, uh, IG, and Plo. Let's go! Chris, I just realised that Geos remind me of uh, Sligs on Abe's Odyssey. Weird references, but there you go. <clears throat> I always played Abe's Odyssey as a kid, but I never got the story. So it's like, it's like they did the trailer for it for the PS4 reveal. And I'm like, I don't know what any of this is except for Abe. <laughs> it's one of those series I probably need to revisit at some point just because, you know, it was a good series. It's just I never paid any attention. I was just like, oh, this is goofy. Hey, you know. Ooh, okay. Um, I think my ship's faster, so that's one thing. You shouldn't annihilate me. Uh, let's do a double tap there with fives. Ooh, lovely. One more. One more. It's hard to all. You say one more and then it's... Yeah, something else. All right, we got this back up at least. The trouble is, I've lost me fleet.
even if my throne was good, I wouldn't back what I've got left to take on that. I mean, let's just check. I mean, if I go... If I advance Ahsoka and Bulba, a TIE Fighter... 216k power. I just can't see that being enough. Uh, Liam, I thought you'd finished already because I came back and said you're offline. I have had two crashes in that time. <laughs> I would be tempted to say, please stay, please stay. <laughs> you might be my good luck charm if you've been away since. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm losing the will. <laughs> I can tolerate one crash because it's... Well, I can say tolerate. I'm not happy, but I can sort of go, you know what? It's a crash. It, it's happening. But the second crash happened about... Two minutes after I'd restarted the stream. So I wouldn't blame you if you didn't know I was here. I was probably here less than I've been for a toilet break. <laughs> you know what? I'm, I'm going to try that squad. It, it won't win. It's not big enough. But I'll tell you what, actually. I'll put Tire Fighter in. I'll put Tire Advance. And we'll go with these. Let's just see if Thrawn can wallop them. I very much doubt it, but I'm actually lacking that much confidence. I'm not even moving the camera. The camera can wait. But I am curious. Can I actually just surprise myself? Okay, so let's get rid of Phantom if we can. Mm, get some uh, evasion or full sight even. Okay, we can go through that, so bye. Um, heal up. This guy's probably put more into his um, drawn than I have. <laughs> bye bye, Vader. Or oh, that thing that should be Vader. Okay, bring in Slave One. Let's just do a basic for now. And another. Okay, we should get... Well, there won't be a counter-attack. It's under stealth. Ooh, okay. Bye-bye, slave one. <laughs> um, let's put retribution up. Try and get these two countering. Let's knock some turn meter back. Do a basic. Ooh. Not a big benefit, but let's just try and get rid of that. Oh, some ugly stuff in this match. Okay, um, won't do much, but can we do it? Nah. Um, let's put BLTY BLT wing in. <laughs> let's just do a basic for now. If I win this, this is going to be impressive. And I'm not taking my own on there. Okay. Question, which ship do you think is the healthiest? I'm guessing fives. Yeah, actually, I'm going to go for fives. I think that would be the weakest. So we'll give that to the Y-Wing, just so that it's uh, tanking. Uh, let's go for Ghost out of these two. Got a Taunt again. Let's try and dispel the buff on IG. Do a basic. Annihilates away away, so that's good. Um, I don't think this will be much, but let's try it. Ah, can we get rid? Yeah! Alright, I don't care. We got rid of it. That was worth that. Just... You know, considering that should have been a loss, considering the crash, I'll take that. I got some banners back that I should have won. Um, just seeing your message, by the way, Chris. Okay. Um... <clears throat> Let's try Rebels. They won't win. I'm not even going to be BSing on stream. They won't win, but I am... Um... I'm just going to try it. Why not? Worst it does, they're going to heal up. Here we 
we go. <laughs> I think that was a premature noise. <laughs> Okay, I knew that wouldn't work, but I had to give it a go. For anyone who doesn't know why that didn't work, it's the idea that um, even though Han shoots first, the Brood Alpha summons the Brute first turn, and as soon as you take your turn, the Brood Alpha causes an equalization effect across the entire Geon Ocean squad, so... You may hit it, but he's healed up before you even hit him, so... Um, it's a cruel effect. But, I believe I've won. This guy can't get past my Darth Revan, which I was chuffed about, as you will have seen. Um, yeah, I'm a bit bummed I couldn't get past his Geos, but honestly, I think it was worth it, because with that crash on fleet, if I'd have kept Darth Revan for offense and used him somewhere, I think I'd have had a worse effect, because he'd have got down, not my fleet down, and we would have probably had closer banners. So, I will take what I've got. I think I was quite good with my strategy here. Um, curious what you guys think though in the comments on YouTube. I'm going to say I do try to pull in YouTube comments other than some of the random rubbish I tend to get. I'm going to just bring this up because this one did irritate me a bit ago. So um, let's just go full screen for a second. Hang on. Alright, so I'm going to try and zoom in a bit here because it's an interesting comment. That's all I can really say. So... I want you to note the video. Hitman 2, Santa Fortuna, kill everyone challenge. And I did it in my suit. So, for those of you who don't play Hitman, it's the idea that this is something out of the ordinary. It's the idea that a kill everyone challenge is not how you're meant to play the game. It's, Hitman is a stealth game, you're meant to assassinate what, between one and five usually targets and get out of the mission without being spotted doing anything illegal. With the Kill Everyone Challenge, you basically say sod that, and you kill every NPC on the map. It can range from 30 NPCs to 40, uh, 1400, which is one of the reasons that I'm not looking forward to doing the next video. Anyway, I get a comment here saying, man, thank you, that worked. Hope you become a popular YouTuber. And I'm like, F you. You just know that this guy has not watched the video. At the time, it had got minimal minutes watched. I don't think that there was a uh, many views on it either. I am not being an arsehole deliberately here, right? It's a case of I look and I think, what worked? <laughs> like you say, yeah, it's spam. And uh, Reels, who's on me, he's been on YouTube with me for about a year, eighteen months now, and it's in Discord server. Uh, he uh, saw the comment when I posted it on Discord, and he did just reply. I don't blame him for actually giving it a little bit of a stick, because it's like, what are you on about? <laughs> I, I, I don't know. It's like... <sighs> I know some people think it's the way to do it. Just comment on random videos and get your name out there. At least watch the video. Or at least have a grasp of what the video is about. Because then, you won't have your comment hidden. I, the only reason I've left that there is because I wanted to make a point with what Reels did in the sense of just sticking him out like a sore thumb. <laughs> you had it on one of your music videos. They're idiots whoever did it. I, I do try not to be a complete a-hole with it. Because, you know, you do get some nice ones. It's like down here somewhere there was a nice one. Um, well, actually, I get ones like that with Gibbo. Um, where are we looking? There we go. Let me see if we can make that bigger again. Yeah, Hipper Parallel, he was commenting on the ranking the Hitman 2 maps video. He says, I know I'm late, but this is honestly the most accurate list I've ever seen. You know, and I'd, I'm not going to disagree there, you know, but equally I think that looks genuine. You know, he's, he knows it's a list video, I think. Nice comment. It's like I say, I don't mind people having different opinions to me, I'm, I'm certainly not going to rip that apart or anything. You know, but you think to yourself, <laughs> for every great comment like that you get spam and it sucks, especially when you're small. <laughs> <coughs> uh, Chris, sod the man, it's one of the pleasures of broadcasting to a worldwide unfiltered audience. <laughs> I will agree to that, it's... 
it's like right now, I could be less salty and not bring this up, because you know, I don't know how many people who are watching really care about stuff like this. But it's one of those things where, you know, it irritates me. I mean, I think I had a, co yeah, I had what, a spam comment this morning. It was, I'd posted Jedi Fallen Order from the, from last Monday. And I thought to myself, all right, I'll get that out. I, I haven't been had time this week to do an actual recording, so I've delayed the stream uh, update. And I thought to myself, okay, that's done. Nothing to worry about. And then I had a ping on my phone for a YouTube comment. So I was like, okay, what's this? And it was just basically a web link to some naughty website, I think. And YouTube filtered it out before I got there. But it's like... Actually, that sounds a lot way worse than I meant it to. <laughs> but yeah, before I could even take the... <laughs> the comment down um yeah youtube has already got there and it's like yeah um I'm, I'm gonna leave that there that sentence really just didn't go well i think i better just leave that <laughs> uh let's, let's have a look good to see the funny side dude the internet's a jungle <laughs> it's full of untamed wildlife yeah get a lot of brambles thrown in your face uh brambles branches uh, Estelle, I've been donating stun guns this week. I'm ready to harvest good karma. It's funny, we've actually been looking at it in the sense that in Ermits, there have been one or two players who could do with upping their donation game. It's a little awkward in the sense that you can't force someone to donate and you certainly can't kick... Well, you could kick someone for it, but it'd be very harsh. So, with thinking of what we can do, and the best thing we can try and do is be honest and say, look, if you don't donate, we won't donate back. <laughs> a little bit awkward. Uh, Chris, it's, it's a, that's a very unpredictable crop. <laughs> I haven't got an editor on here, have I? Oh, hang on. Now I have got pen. Go on, I'll finish this stun gun off. What's left here? Oh, quite a way away with that. Um, yeah, I've got that to today at least. Oh, that's poo. All right, let's do 100 of that. Get some cast shards. How far off am I with him? 10 out of 30. <laughs> okay, so I've got the stone guns ready. That's uh, different. You know, I think I've even got feet now. Have I? No, I'm still a way away. I think I need... Um... Oh, I haven't even got that on this one. Oh, I, I like that one. The... Uh, on, on not using reinforcements. Okay. Let's see what's happening on Termin because I haven't even looked at this one. We're up against UCD Ing for the title. We've got General of the 501st. You know what? Can I just do this for the rest of the stream? I mean, this would probably be... Oh. You know, I'm saying that, and it does occur to me I've got a counter. So I'm going to just put my ideas up. I've got a counter. <laughs> I haven't got six counters to all that shite. Pardon my French. <laughs> Let's just see what he's put down. <laughs> oh god, this could be horrid. Okay, he's put Padme down, he's put Nuke down, he's put Gas down, he's put Ewoks down. Alright, well... I'm going to assume he has done the good boy thing and he's put full squads down. Yeah, he's even got what time bore at 5 star with the Zeta. Alright, that's nifty. If I get there, that's going to be rough. Padme's not the strongest, but he's got enough there to at least make it awkward. Got a full gas team. Ooh, but he didn't have... Okay, okay. I'm actually fancying my chances more now. Okay. I'm curious. Has he rallied... Yeah, he's rallied up since. Wow. Okay. I've got a chance. Well, let's rip the band-aid off because this is going to be awkward. Um, before I start, I'm changing my stream title.
Okay, so... <clears throat> this is the trouble leaving Nest on defense as well. I lose a Ewok counter. Still, this is the star of the show. Oh, you pig. Okay, I could still do this. The trouble is I've lost old Ben to defense. Oh, freaking hell. If I'd have seen that he got gas, like if I'd have taken time when I was on timing earlier to have a look, I would have seen he got gas and I'd have put old Ben in the um, offense list. Well, the only way I can go is top team. Let's knock it down and hope that R2 can tank like old Ben would. Camera's coming back, by the way. Alright, only one way to go. Can we get a big hit here with CLS? Needed one more. Oh, okay, this is going to be the hard bit to get a ton of turn meter. Gas is down, right. I can go for fives. Let's get rid of all the buffs, the tenacity. Okay, all in on fives. We've got to get rid of him fast. Bang, gone. Everyone on the stealth bar or two. Oh, okay. Let's do that. Can we get rid of Rex? There we go. Come on, bang, bang, bang. Okay, gas versus five. He could wipe one of them out. Oh, okay, maybe not. Okay, Pugster, hey there. Ooh. I haven't fought a gas for a while. Glad I'm not rusty. Okay. <laughs> well, I don't, I'm half tempted to leave that now and just say, there you go, you put your gas down, you're proud of yourself. But I know there's worse things to come still. Ewoks. I need an Ewok counter. Um. I used Trey last time, so let's try that again. I think that was a good counter, so let's use it. Uh, we'll take... Oh, don't need right click. Treya, we'll take Set, we'll take Maul, Zion, and Nihilus. Okay, let's go. <clears throat> okay, can we put some of this down to Torment? Okay, that cleansed it, not great. Let's, um, yeah, let's isolate Path Blue, give that to Sion. Let's drain force, or drain life, or whatever the ability's called. Okay, stuck behind set, that's good. Can we get some days? A little bit. Really need to get to Alda. Trouble is, this team I'm using is so slow, I haven't modded them well. My own fault, I need to mod them better, but yeah, this could be awkward in the short term. Okay, ugh. Okay, come on, game out. Oh, evasion. Just survive, set. Just survive. There we go. Alder's gone. Right, next priority is Wicket. Make sure they can't damage us too much. AoE. Bit bonus protection, I'll take that. Mm. Let's go for Paplu. No retribution. Let's do a basic. Do some days over there. Let's get rid of all them buffs. Nice. Can we go to Wicket? We can do another drain. 
Do that. Nice one. Uh, big hit on Chirpa. Held by hatred. Estelle, I feel weird using one to two dot mods on my baby account. It is weird for them first few weeks, months, whatever you're using it. Uh, let's get rid of Paplu. And just try and wipe out low gray now. Considering my Sith Triumphants aren't big, that's probably a good use for him when I haven't got Nest, so I'll take that. What's he hidden? Geos. Not big Geos, but Geos. Which really makes me regret using Sith, Sith Triumphant. <laughs> he saved a lot for offense though, so that's a positive. All right, I can't cheese these two squads. I need to be very good with them. I just realized my tip chart isn't full. What's going on there? Hmm, I don't know, it should be there. <coughs> Boy, hang on, maybe I need to open Streamlabs. Let's try that. trying to think while I'm doing this what I can use on these because they aren't easy. By no means are these two teams easy. <sighs> Let's wipe that out. That's nagging at me a little. Let's use this newt team I've got. Let's go newt, let's go dooku. Uh, um, who else can I chuck in here? Yeah, let's try Grievous. You know, I'm saying that and then I think that is just way too much of a risk. Try and keep in mind what I need. For starters, that top team. That top team, the way it'll play out is that Watt's going to take a turn straight away. I haven't got Han anymore, so I can't use Han. Watt's going to take a turn, he's going to give tech to Shore Trooper, and even though Shore Trooper is a weak ass puny little so and so, he could probably be annoying. So, the only thing I can think that could possibly do well against that is Night Sisters. I'm thinking Night Sisters. What's that on Asage? Rampage. So she's got the appropriate Zeta for this team. Hmm. I think I've got to try it. I think I've got to go for Night Sisters. This could be a bad call, but it's about the best call I can come up with. Let's go! And for the record, I was saying recently, I knew I'd start seeing gas on defense. It was just a probability. Right. Let's get rid of that taunt. It'll reapply it, but let's see if we can just get rid of it in a minute. Okay, Blake. Um, I've got full health, so let's clear that debuff. Can we get buff immunity out there? Yep. Uh, can we get a stun? Yes, we can. Hopefully, a full team of Night Sisters will just counter this alright, but I don't know. I need to get that um, extortion off zombie. The old team's weaker with zombie extorted.
I like the team comp here. I'm not lying. I'm denying that one bit. All right. Gotta give it. All right. Get rid of any of that. Okay. I don't really care if uh, Daka's got it. Okay. At least we can target quite freely now. At least for a minute. We've got to get rid of some of the extortion again because it's just going to really wreck the team. Yeah. Get rid. Get rid. Okay. Question is, who do I give it to? Who do I go for next? I think it's got to be Watt. I think he's just going to keep charging him up. So let's go that way. Let's go for Watt. Okay. Come on. I might be wrong, Gear. What might be inconsequential at this point, but still, I'd rather think that getting rid of what might help. Okay, three stacks of profit over there. I've got to keep that in mind just so that they don't get too wacky. Let's get rid of the buffs. Um, yeah, let's get rid of that. Stun Newt, preventing from doing extortion again. Okay, zombie down. Let's heal up a bit. Okay, everyone in on Dooku. Ugh. What's that bit of tech do? Recovers 5% health and protection at the start of every character's turn and 5% bonus protection if character is stepped. It's bloody hell, that's going to be rough to get past. Okay. <coughs> I think I'm just going to have to hope I can chew through it. Stuns. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, up you all come. Up you all come. Let's get rid of that. Need plague. Come on. Give me something. Give me something to use against him. Oh, brilliant. That, that'll do. That'll do. Okay. That's it. Asajj was nicely charged up by the end then. Okay. I feel like I did well there. Right. <coughs> Three teams. I've got Bounty Hunters, I've got Empire, and I've got Clones. So I'm going to use the Clones now. I think that's the safest bet to just whittle this down, or have I got something even smaller I can throw at it? Um, I could use my Bastille Jedi actually, so let's try that. That should be more than enough for that. Let's do that. You know what? I'll, I'll, I will shorten it a little. I'll go with them four. I think Qui-Gon might be just wasting a banner, but let's try it. This is what bugs me about the crashes. I did have high, well not high viewership, but you know, I was doing alright with the viewership. And then you lose any momentum when the crash happens because people think you're gone. Uh, let's try and get rid of that bar. <coughs> Attacks that turn rough, but not that rough. Retribution. Let's give that to GM White. <laughs> Them counter attacks did wonderful then. Okay, at bar, bye bye. <coughs> and all in on Phasma. Oh, one more. There we go. So yeah, that was cheap and easy. 61 banners. Two teams left. I'm going back to the conversation I had at the end of the last stream, which was, can Bounty Hunters take down Padme? And I'm thinking, yes. There's no foresight there. Kenobi will be annoying, but he's always annoying. But I need a counter here.
I haven't really got a lot here. I'm thinking Savage and Sidious, healing immunity. Maybe I can do a clean up crew after. Let's give it a go. <coughs> this is two round, oh, both Crimson and Tamin have had Geos on back wall. It's rough. Let's give that to Palpatine, try and get some stuns out there. Alright, that worked. Lovely. Only Spy didn't get uh, stunned. Right, I was told ages ago, always use Culling Blade on the Brute. Let's do an AoE. Let's fracture the Brute so it doesn't keep bothering me. Let's start whittling away at the Brute Alpha. Let's do a shock. Oh, okay, wow, that stung. Okay, just keep going at the Brood. Um, come on. Oh, okay, Vader, just keep going, bud. Keep going, keep going, Vader, keep going. Right. Let's get an ability block on Poggle so he doesn't collect... Oh, okay. Let's send that to Palpatine. Let's get a stun shock combo again if we can. Yes, okay. It's overkill, but let's fracture him so he doesn't do a cleanse. Okay. Okay, come on. Just keep going at the brood. Shock. Basics, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, it's too early. AoE. Can we get him out? Yes! Uh, Rutland, spread shot so Palpatine takes lots of turns. Yep, I'll, I feel like I'm taking credit for what you said, but I'd hope you'd agree that's what I did. I'd hope. <laughs> um, man. It doesn't always work, Palp, because even though he can do it, he's a hard one to be... A, he's a very soft counter, so when you do it, God, it's good. Let's, I can't hit the spy, so let's go for the Brute. Kick him out of here. Look, Spy, I've had enough. Have that. <laughs> 54 banners. Okay, I'm feeling better now because not only can I clear the bounty... Well, I can use the bounty hunters to try and clear Padme. But if they fail, I've also got clones left. <clears throat> and I can hopefully use an Annihilate. So, let's take them in. And I'm thinking... I'm going to select the squad like I normally would, but I'm going to take Dengar out and put Zam in. I want less attacks at a turn, and I think that will fit the bill. It's a shame because Dengar's a good banner stealer, but at this point he's awkward. Uh, Rootland, I find it reliable counter against equally geared bugs or lower. Yeah, I've had instances where it's a good counter, and I've had instances where it just doesn't even touch it, so I know what you're getting at. Gear yeah, definitely plays a part. Alright. Let's pop a taunt. Let's do that. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. okay, that was lovely to start with. Hmm, not great. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't go that far. I realised I was covering my mouth then. Um, no tenacity, so will this work? No, no, of course, they resist debuffs. Um, can we cleanse that, though? Yeah, okay. Oh, whoa, 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 okay. Let's take that off Kenobi. Okay, a bit of evasion down there. Let's try and hit Anakin. Come on, a few more on Anakin. Oh, okay, we've got um, Kenobi taunting again. There we go, let's get Anakin out, come on. Bosk really took a big blow there. Um, let's go over to Ahsoka, we could do this contract. Mm, great, Kenobi's taunting again. Back to Ahsoka, come on. Oh! Ooh, Greedo! <coughs> Pardon me. May as well just hit Kenobi. Come on, back to Ahsoka. Contract's not done yet. 
Ooh, okay, she scares me every time she does that. Right, come on. Don't do too many, Greedo. Okay. Big it. Nearly. Okay. Um, can we get ability blocks? Yes. Although, that really didn't feel like it did much. Let's do a basic, because Sam's uh, minds here are doing jack. Let's see if we can stop Kenobi taunting or slow him down a bit. Anything near? Mm, a little bit. Get rid of that. Anything near? Nah, of course not. Uh, come on. Basics. These three could just be annoying. <coughs> Let's try and go for a soaker again. Got that bonus protection down. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, okay. If the, if this wins, it's going to be dirty as hell. Come on, big it. Oh, healing immunity, that's something, but then she does that. Oh, even better. This is one hell of a dirty battle. It's as if Padme's saying, if you're going to take me down, you're taking all of us down. Let's try and hit Padme. Get rid of them buffs. Come on. Lovely. Uh, can we get some bombs on her? Even better. She can't cleanse bombs. Big it. Lovely! <laughs> okay, just gotta watch out for Kenobi and the Courage now. Let's just do that as a move. Well, I was saying that it won't bother uh, Kenobi as much. Let's do double taps if we can. Nice. Let's get rid of what's there. Do a hit. Come on. Go get through the Great Wall of Kenobi. Uh, burning. Just add a debuff to the field. Max health down. Just get rid of that. If you can. Two bombs. Alright. Come on, nuke him. Nearly. Come on. Come on. There we go. 40 seconds left on the clock. That was a thick Kenobi. Uh, 53 banners. I mean... <clears throat> I haven't even looked at this guy's fleet, so I'm going to actually just back completely away to see what fleets he's got. I'll check the feet in a bit. What's he got for fleet? Kenobi and Negotiator. This is a very good matchup. I feel like I'm... I can't say anything more. He has got a very good fleet here. Okay, Doc. I really don't know what I can say here. I mean... If he's put Negotiator down, we've... Uh, what you call... It's, that's Mace, isn't it? Yeah, he's put Mace down. Alright, I should win this, but... He's got Negotiator for offense, so he can clear me. This is going to be a battle. This will be decided on banners, assuming I will beat this. So I've got to make sure I clear it so that I stand a chance. He's got enough for offense to clear me, without a shadow of a doubt. So, if I go like this, this, this and this. Let's go. All I need to do here is make sure I, I get the full clear, because banners are so crucial and I'll be honest I haven't had a chance to underdog he will um, let's go for bigs try and get target lock there <coughs> put breach on slave one no luck there um, let's try and get ability block on the two then got some two meter back Right, let's try and wipe Biggs out. Bit weird though, wasn't it? He's put uh, Biggs with uh, Mace. Even if you haven't built your Atbar up, surely you'd use Atbar. 
Right, it's Xanadu Blood. Uh, yeah, just take Slave 1 out. <laughs> Wait, got Wedge. Hopefully it should take him out. Come on, let's get rid of Spy. Bye-bye. And one for the money, two for the show. Time for Wedge to go, go, go. 65 banners, that could be crucial as well because even if he's got Negotiator, I would be amazed if he could get that many banners on my fleet. I'm not saying he couldn't beat it, I'm just saying 65 would be impressive. Okay. So full clear. 1730 versus 640 as it stands. So... I feel like I've got a good draw for people to come to YouTube uh, to see the final score because it's going to be a few days before the next round now. This is my defense. I've tried to be a little tricksy here. Um, it didn't do well last time. The guy did get a one, ba one battle win on it. But you never know. Maybe there'll be some trip up if you underestimate it. Uh, Ewoks, if he's got Nest. I don't know if he has got Nest off the top of my head. But if he has, that's an easy win. <coughs> my Geos are weaker than his, so... Shouldn't be a hard battle for him. Let's move the camera again. Uh, it's only going to cover the battles up, but we can see them. Um, yeah, first order again. Nothing too fancy in, on the front wall. Go to the back. I've put my Mishmash Rebels there. Again, that was a one battle win last time. But you never know. Maybe something tricky could happen. You know, someone underestimates Relic 2 Biston. You never know. And back wall. I've already said it, but home one. Home one has got to hold. If I, if it can hold one, I win. If it can nick some banners, I, sh I might win. Let's just show you the roster. Because we've beaten his gas. That is a big win. He's got General Grievous. He's got CLS. He's got Darth Revan. He's got Shakti if he wants to put that somewhere. He's put down his Padme. I can't recall, but I don't think he put his Bounty Hunters down. He put his Geos down. He's got a Double Zeta Grief Karga. He's got quite a lot. He's Zeta Mando as well. There is stuff there that I'm seeing and I'm thinking... He could beat me. He could get the Tomb wins via... Underdoggy. I mean, I'm just looking. <clears throat> and I'm thinking... Revan with Bastler, say. Eh? That could probably take out one of mine. Liam, nice job on the full clear. Thank you very much. Um, I'm sure Revan and Bastler with HK could do one team. You've got Grievous with B1 Battle Droid and maybe Droid Core IG. They could do another for, with an underdog squad. Um, all the clones are used, so they won't be there. But Shakti maybe could do something with some Galactic Republic. I don't know. Um, you've got Nihilus there, maybe for some sort of Sith team. My gut is telling me he has got enough to clear me. I mean, I'm curious what people think. Because, I mean, at this point, I'm going to put the score on YouTube. You know, I will edit it in and... I'm going to be amazed if he couldn't full clear me. The question is, will he do it efficiently enough? And yeah. I feel like I'm giving people enough reason to at the very least click on the video and skip all the way to this point in the video just to see what went on. So, with that in mind. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I've been streaming for coming on five hours now. It's been four and a half to be specific. So, I am calling it a day. Uh, what I will say is, in the next couple of days I'm hoping to release a video in regards to the Separatist faction. I recorded it on uh, Friday, uh, well, Friday or Thursday, and off it went. I just realised the lights have dimmed in here. It doesn't show up as much when you're like on the little screen, but when it's the big screen it's more prominent. There we go. Uh, have a good one man, cheers for the stream. I'm glad you enjoyed it Chris. I mean, I've said already, I'm thinking if I get 10 subs on here, I might try and do something like to celebrate, maybe a giveaway or something. So, 
you know, I'm saying that because I know that Chris is a sub. I know that um, a few subs are, like Rootland, you know, I would just want to try and celebrate the fact that people have supported the channel. So I might try and do a little giveaway for that sort of thing. So it won't be anything massive, but, you know, just something that I can reward. I don't know. I'll have a think on it, but 10 subs seems like a nice milestone, at least for where we are in terms of things. Uh... A style of nice, looking forward to that set video. Yeah, like I say, I recorded half of it, and then the other half, um, the mic cut out. So, yeah, you just got a load of video of me going blah, 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 blah. So I'll try and re-record that. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to that one, because it was an interesting topic. It was basically what I've been doing with Corky all this time. But yeah, just to wrap up, that's what's hopefully coming next week. I'm going to try and record Kotal, because I know Jacko, for instance, doesn't mind those videos. So I'm going to try and get a video out for him with that. Um, Hitman 2, hopefully the week after Jedi Fallen Order, probably the week after that. But yeah, uh, like I say, I'm back on Wednesday, UK time. It'll be 7pm. Until then, see you all, folks. Bye-bye for now. I'll put the end credits up, but I don't think there's much to credit. Yeah, that's pretty much what I said. Not a lot to credit. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. See you. Bye-bye.